In this video I'm going to take a look at how to draw tiles on an ease. So we finished up it in the other video uh, where we looked at drawing a 200mm cavity and how to set that up. This And now what I'm going to take a look at is how we draw the tile in detail here. I'm just showing it about 20mm thick for a tile. We're going to draw on a scale of 1 to 5 again. So that will be 4mm for your tile thickness. The sizing of the battens is a 50 by 25 And we want to look at the spacings of these here. So I'm just going to allow for a 30 degree pitched roof. I'm going to draw a line parallel to the, where the felt has been drawn at a distance of 5mm, which is our 25mm batten. You could increase this to 6 if you liked for a 30mm batten, that would be fine either or. And the first batten that I'm going to draw here is measured from the fascia, the top of the fascia, to the top of the batten, a distance of 300mm. And just show it here now, it's 60 millimeters from the top there to the top edge and each one then that's after this here at 50 to the top of the batten and I measure back my distance of 10 millimeters on each of the, each of these here which is a 50 millimeter batten so that's to the top of the battens that we take the measurements I measure back to 10 for each of these here another thing worth note as well too in this here is I've inserted the fascia to rise above the edge of the rafter cut to a height of 70 or 70 millimeters that could be increased to 75 or even taken down just a little bit down to 60 or the mix that's the big difference between our town and our slating detail that the fascia is higher for the tiles than it is for the slates so there I have my battens spaced in first at 300 the rest of them at 250 spacings and the reason for the first one being spaced at that there is to allow for the first tile to hang over the edge there and allow the rainwater to run over into the gutter. So all I've done is measured the distance of my tile. The tile, the size that I'm using, is a 400mm tile. So I've taken my distance here now to on the compass to allow for a 400mm tile, which is 80mm. And I'm using the two set squares just to draw a parallel line. And again, I'm match, matching the thickness of the 20 millimeters. So 20 millimeters divided by five is four millimeters. At the top of it here, I'm allowing a five millimeter distance for the hook. And I'm just coming back in that it's not just dead tight on the top of the felt. And the overhang that I have here of the tile running over the edge of the fascia is allowing for um, a 60 millimeter overhang on that. And then each of my tiles then I will draw them again uh, using my compass from taken from the hook as well. And remember it's five millimeters that I'm using as a space and so five by five is twenty-five overhang or the hook at the very top of the tile. Now in reality a lot of the hooks are actually not exactly at the top, they're a little bit down, but for us drawing this here it's, it's dead easy for us then to have a go at drawing. So five millimeters there and then allow the distance using the compass for the length of my tile, the 400mm tile. So the, four, the tile, 400mm in that direction and then the other direction then across the length of the roof it's going to be 300mm with an interlock on the side. So I'll allow again the 5mm, the distance in the compass shows me where the tile is going to end. Join those two points up. I can go perpendicular or parallel, whichever one suits me best to go with and the thickness of the tile you can see there I'm only gauging it really but four millimeters and the hook at the top of them so it's allowing for a lap over the top of the tile to cover the nail head it should be allowing me a hundred millimeter overlap over the top of the head and you can see my distances Again, five millimeters, the length of the tile, scribed on the compass. Four millimeters, go parallel and complete the hook. All these sizes will be placed in at the end of the drawing as well, so it's easy enough to reference that there. And just, that's the way you work it up. 
Uh, normally we might be asked for maybe four courses of tiles, so that would cover that there. And you can see now the height that I'm talking about there of the fascia from the top of the rafter. Put that in at 70 millimeters. And our distances that we need to measure here from that to the top of the first batten. Then every one after that there, the gauge of the battens. So we height of 70 and then 300 and 250 then for the battens then after that. So at scale 1 is to 5 that's 60 and 50. So I should have a 75 mil overlap or sorry a 20, 325 to the top of the hook. Uh, which would leave me with 75 millimeters going down into the the gutter part. If you wanted to increase the very first one up to 325, with just reducing it down to 50 millimeters. 50 millimeters is a little bit uh, short for going down to where the gutter is, uh, whereas 75 maybe is maybe marginally long. But if you increase the size of the gutter, which I've drawn there, it it would be fine. That's pretty much our tiling detail there and it's uh, time for putting in a few details here and it's handy for the next stage which we're going to look at would be the slating detail and you'll see a lot of these sizes are quite similar so just for handiness sakes uh, I would leave it at the first batten being 300 and the second but the battens after that then being at uh, 250 and feel free to pause the video at at the end as well to to look at a lot of the details here I spoke about a 200 millimeter cavity in the other video saying that it would want to have to the internal wall would have to be designed by an engineer if it's in an exposed site thing say the size of the wall would have to be increased maybe to 150 or 225 or the legs and the preference might be for to have a, a polar tech type construction where you have an external wall insulation a solid block and internal wall insulation then, which would makes it easier to prevent the cold legs of the cold bridge or thermal loop.